gather around children as I read the tale of a cat who did believe his fit was the most fresh and the most clean. One day, he wore gold chains. He knew looked great, walked all through the forest to make them hate. Look, they would say, it's that cat again with the expensive chains and pricey cardigan. He wastes all his money to put on a show. True, the cat said. But I do got that shit on, though. The animals would grunt as his response was blunt. The cat would keep walking, laughing and mocking, stunning on his peers as they kept watching. They would let him brag. And rightfully so. Most of them had no swag, fur but no clothes. All except one, the old wise owl, a pair of Air Jordan 1. That bird got style. Hold up, the owl said when the cat approached. That chain is fake and so are your clothes. What do you mean, the embarrassed cat said. That is not true. But it was too late. The cat was doomed and so was his fate. I saw that shit on Team U for four ninety-five, probably cost a Chinese worker's life. The cat was all red and ran away while the animals of the forest laughed all day. They all congratulated the owl for his courage and knowledge. Is this something you learned in a book, in high school or college? But the owl said nothing, stayed quiet and humble, because he knew that bragging would cause him some trouble. Because see, the cat wasn't the only one wearing Fugazi. The Jordans worn by the owl were never made by Nike. He bought them on eBay for the very low. And if you look closely, you'll notice the wrong logo. Because you see, children, there's really nothing wrong with wearing fake shoes, fake shirts and fake thongs. The problem arises when you try to brag, showing off your gold chain and new Gucci bag. A hater will wait and plot your demise. You'll be found out and so will your lies. So always stay modest in your fake attire or the entire forest will know you're a liar. <laughs>